Today we're going to talk about the installation of our stocks on a Weatherby Vanguard or a Howa 1500. They're basically exactly the same. So for reference purposes today, we have a standard factory Weatherby Vanguard 25 odd 6. It's got the economical plastic stock that's on it now. We're going to install it on one of our aftermarket stocks. So this is exactly how you will receive the stock. It's going to be boxed up in this bag. It's going to have all the instructions and the tools that you're going to need to do the final assembly. So the first thing that we do uh, when we go to disassemble it, we're obviously going to check and make sure the firearm is unloaded. Okay, we can leave the bolt in the rear position. What we're going to need for tools on this one right now, we just have this Wheeler fat wrench. It's uh, got a torque setting to 65 inch pounds, which we're going to use later. But we're simply going to remove the barrel action from the stock. A lot of times that internal housing will come loose and fall out. That's fine. Just drop it all out. Set it down to the side. We can set this off. We're not going to need that stock anymore. So now as we get our stock, it'll come in this bag here. We can open it up. The instructions and this epoch or this um, blue Loctite will come with it as well. It comes with each one. The instructions give you a very detailed um, guideline to install the sock. So for today, we're going to set the instructions aside and we're going to go over what those instructions entail. So we're going to pull the stock out, install the barrel to action in a vertical position. Just set that in there. Take the housing. I like to take the housing all the way out, but you can keep it in there for this purposes. Slide the housing in position. Put the floor metal in there. You can see it's going to be a good solid fit. Everything fits in there fine. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to take the front action screws in. Just kind of hand tighten it. Okay. I'm going to take the rear action screw. Going to kind of hand tighten that one as well. And basically what that's going to do is allow everything to just kind of sit in there without falling off at this point. So the neat advantage to this particular stock, as with all of our Weatherby, Vanguards, even some of our Ruger stocks, this has a Pro Center technology. So these Pro Center technologies has these two set screws that are designed to center the barrel inside the barrel channel of the stock. They actually contact points that, that have, create resistance against the recoil lug, allowing you to center it. So at this point, I'm going to set this down. We have a little Allen wrench in here and our blue Loctite. Okay, just pull that little lid off of the blue Loctite simply by twisting it. And now we have that ready to go. We go in here to these set screws and we're going to completely remove these set screws. You can do this earlier as well. It doesn't really matter what order, but we're going to have these completely removed. If you want to remove them prior to installing the barrel dash, that's fine. All right. Now at this point, we're going to look down the barreled action and we're going to pull that barreled action slightly to the right side. Okay. Action screw slightly tight. We're going to pull that slightly to where the barrel channing is leading off center. You can see that it's not tightened. You can move it. It's not centered in there yet. Due to certain variances in the design of the action and the barrel action, they may not on a traditional stock always be able to be centered. So hence where the pro center technology comes in. This allows us to center that barrel perfectly in the barrel channel every time. So what we'll do now, let's just take a little dab of this uh, blue Loctite. We'll put that on the first three or four threads in there. Go ahead and install that centering screw on the pro center technology. We'll continue to tighten it down until it starts to push that barrel channel from the right side of the stock back into the center.
We'll continue. That barrel's moving towards the center of the stock. All right. Now it's perfectly centered inside the stock. We'll add a little blue Loctite to the other centering screw, which is going to be on the left-hand side now. Same deal. We'll tighten that down, and a good snug hand tighten is fine for these. That blue Loctite takes a few hours to settle. We're going to get that nice and snug. We'll look at the barrel channel, and if it goes off to one side or the other, simply loosen the screw and tighten until that barrel channel, uh, or that, that barreled action is perfectly centered in the barrel channel of the stock itself. That looks pretty darn good right there. Uh, I wouldn't adjust that at all. So now at this point, still in a vertical position, we're going to set that down. We're going to go back to our torque wrench, and we're going to torque the front action screw down to 65 inch pounds. We'll go to the rear action screw, tighten that rear action screw down to 65 inch pounds. Doesn't get much straighter than that. So that's as simple as that. It's as, as easy as it is. You can get this stock on our website, hsprecision.com. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook for more up-to-dates. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information and other additional instructional videos.